Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. I'm going to do a review on the 30-inch Ironton metal bending brake from Northern Tool and Equipment. They sent it to me for a project I'm working on, and I have to say, I was absolutely thrilled when Northern Tool reached out to me and wanted to partner on a couple of videos. Northern Tool has been in business for over 40 years, and I know because I've been a customer of theirs for over 20. And so I kind of wanted to go through the routines with the brake and see how well it worked. And I'm going to be doing a combination of different metals from 24 gauge steel to even 20 gauge aluminum diamond plate and even some 18 gauge steel strap. So let's get started. Now I'm using an Ironton 30 inch metal brake. I'm going to try it out on this. It's a very simple brake. It's inexpensive and I really like this basic concept because, well, it's small enough that I can store it somewhere because most metal brakes take a lot of room. Now it doesn't come with the seat clamps. You're going to have to pick up a few for this. You really should only need two C clamps. I picked up a third just in case. And then you can set your brake or the bending bar on top of that. Now I'm going to take a couple of clamps and just clamp down the sides to see if that will hold it well enough. hoping that's enough to kind of hold it good and, and solid. So what I'm going to do for starters is I'm going to bend this piece up. Okay, should be tight. I'm just going to bend this up on a 90 just like that. On one inch. to see if I can bend this uh, diamond plate. This is 20 gauge aluminum diamond plate. Now, it's not real, real thick, but it's, it's, all, it's thicker than what I've been build, bending. So let's just check it out. Let's see how it does with this. Definitely a little stiffer, but it took the bend just fine. Yeah, look at that. That's got a nice clean bend to it, good sharp edge. And I think I can I can work with that. The next one I want to try, let's try a piece of steel plate like this. Let's see if it can handle this. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, this is a heavy piece of steel. Let's see if it can handle that. Now in a short range like that, no problem at all. Yeah, I, I even actually overbent that a little bit, and uh, that's like 20 gauge or uh, thicker steel. This is 24 gauge steel. Let's put that under here and just see if it can handle a bend on this. Okay. 
Okay, this is 24 gauge steel. That handles it just fine. That gives a good crisp, clean edge. And this is a good thick, heavy piece of, of metal. This is a lot different. This is 18 gauge steel. It's a steel strap, and I'm really curious to see if it can handle it. Well, I gotta say, I took a, a 10 inch piece of 18 gauge and did a bend like that on there. That's about the max I think I would really want to challenge that to, but I'm surprised that really, it, it, it did it, it handled it. it. By gosh, it handled it. Pretty cool. So all in all, I have to say I like the little break. It's a it's a it's a good tool. It's inexpensive. It's portable, so you don't have it filling up your shop. You can set it in a you know on a shelf or to the side. Uh, it handled pretty much everything I threw at it, uh, including this 18 gauge steel bin. It's ideal for doing lightweight materials but also doing complex bins like even on this project that I'm working on right now which has some unique angles to it and you know bins that are multiple and I hope you'll uh, consider watching this when it comes out and I'll post that up here as soon as it does the downsides to this is it's a little cumbersome taking the the clamps on and off and to be honest i wish when they sell this it came with two three inch clamps it would just make the package more complete as being ready to start working on but that's just my opinion and all in all i think it's a really good value hey thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you soon